So in this video, we're going to learn how to replace a hard drive. First, let's uh, take the panel out of our computer. And like I said, every computer varies. Each panel varies. Some of them will have like a lock. You just and then some of them will go up. I mean, there's different ones. So every computer is different. But every hard drive is uh, about the same. There's two types of hard drives. IDE and SATA. This computer has IDE, but I will explain that in a bit. So mine just pops out like that. We'll disconnect the 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 case fan here. If I can do it with one hand, there we go. Put that over there for now. So here's our hard drive right here. <clears throat> This is a custom machine, so I only have one screw on it. Uh, I actually have two of them, but I don't have uh, screws on the other side. Your computer might have screws on both sides. You might have to take out both lids, or this thing right here might have a, a special way to go chuk, chuk, and then bring it out. You know, every computer is different. All right. Well, matters is getting to the hard drive here. Okay. So first thing we got to do, actually, before we even take out the screws, is disconnect it. Here's the power cable. And remember, this is a IDE connection, and then here's the the data connection. Okay, so it's power and data. All right. Now let me show you what SATA looks like. SATA is gonna look like this. All right. This one's power, and this one's data. All right. So I mean. It's not much of a big deal, but this is how it's going to look. These are actually easier. So if you have these, these are easier, okay? So now that we got them disconnected, let's uh, take off the screws. God, I have these on pretty good. My hard drive is probably going to fall down from here, but it's all good. It fell down. <laughs> you guys are probably, oh no, it's a hard drive. No, it fell down. It's all right. That screw's probably stuck there. I'll, I'll take it out in a bit. I only have a, uh, I fell in there. I only have one hand to work with here because I'm holding the camera. But anyway, I'm going to take out the hard drive. So we here we have it. This is a Western Digital. Actually, a pretty old hard drive, you know. This is one of my, you know, custom machines I built back in the day, so I'm using it as an example, just putting it apart and everything. Okay. So when you replace your hard drive, it's really, really important that you remember this right here. You see this little tab right here? You got to make sure this one here says it is, let's see if the camera sees it. You notice right there it says M-A, that means master, okay? The next SL means slave, CS means cable select, which that's really complicated. Oh look, it says right here, master, slave, cable select. Notice my hard drive is set for master. So if you're placing your hard drive and you get another hard drive, a brand new one, you got to make sure you go in here, you change this little tab. You can, you can change it if you have long nails. You can just go in here if you have long nails. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. But basically you just take it out of there and put it on the next one. This one's master. When you get your new hard drive, make sure you put it on the correct one, all right? Don't put it on slave. If you put it on cable select, it might work. But make sure you put it on the one that's that it was right here, okay? Very important. Same thing with CD drives, same thing, all right? So master, this one's master. You get the new hard drive, it's master, all right? So now let's install it back on. I'll put down the camera so I can uh, put the screws back on. Just wanted to show you guys this. All right, so let's connect the hard drive back up. Go back to our IDE ribbon here. Remember the white, so this white line you see right here goes towards the, is facing towards the power connection. Here's the power, that's the power connection. The white line towards the power connection, all right? Every time, or else it won't fit right. You don't wanna bend, you don't wanna bend the pins in there either, okay? Just put it in there gently and just push it gently. Make sure it's on right. And now the power. This is the power right here. You notice the 
notice the round edge right there the round groove make sure over here you put it to the right thing it's got to be round right there and then just push it in and that's it we just replaced our hard drive and remember if it's SATA it's gonna look like this way easier and it's gonna be way easier these just pop it right in just how we just did it but even easier okay these are SATA those are IDE okay no big deal they're not that much of a big difference so don't worry about it you'll be able to do these way easier than those other ones okay just because I'm not using these as an example with a hard drive does not mean you could do it you cannot do it All right so that concludes this uh, this video and uh, hopefully this has helped you uh, be able to do it yourself and not have to pay a tech to do this for you and uh, have a good day